Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been going on in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered the top stories of the day, so let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is that artificial intelligence and automation's paradox. More human talent needed to reduce the need for human talent. So this article is talking about the paradox that how humans are creating the machines that further remove the need of human talent but we require more human talent in order to build enough machines to create automations across industries. So automation is reducing the cost and the need to hire human talent but in order to create automation we require more human talent and there is a clear skill gap of people who can create this technology. Therefore a lot of companies are trying to fill this gap. Amazon is providing free cloud computing training to 29 million people around the world by 2025. And further, they are also spending $700 million to upskill 100,000 of its own employees. Cognizant released a study which had the jobs of future index predicting a strong recovery for the US market post the pandemic. Because more and more companies are adapting cloud strategies and AI solutions and their survey showed that there was a 28% increase in the requirement of automation job. There is also a survey showing that a lot of people tried to upskill and the COVID situation was a wake up call for them to opt for something in the automation industry. Therefore, automation training and certificate courses on AWS jumped a whopping 152% from May 2019 to May 2020. For example, this article suggests that the hospitality industry has seen the worst in the pandemic and they are working with reduced labor. Therefore, all those people who have lost their job in the hospitality industry are going to upskill themselves and work in the automation industry. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about India and why it cannot become AI superpower as of yet. So innovation in AI is going on a neck break pace, but it is still very less compared to other countries like US and China. And there are three primary reasons for it. The first one being lack of investment. In India, the cost of failure is much higher than in the West. Therefore, the people are hesitant to invest in new innovations and technologies. In 2019, US and China invested about 25 billion and 5 billion in artificial intelligence respectively compared to India's 486 million dollars. Still India has a rising trajectory in artificial intelligence as we have 20 unicorns collectively valued at 75 billion dollars and around 50 startups that are poised to join the unicorn club by 2022. The issue of scale gap is prevalent in India as a lot of industries are hesitant to opt for artificial intelligence because their current workers are ill-equipped to deal with such technologies. Apart from that, people working itself in the artificial intelligence industry are also unskilled and there is a big scale gap between the demand and supply of people willing to work in the artificial intelligence industry. However, now many institutes offer AI related and technology courses and have seen huge demand from people and a lot of companies in 2020 also offered a lot of free courses about AI encouraging more participation. So we will also need a lot of robust government policy in order to develop and deploy artificial intelligence in large scale in the entire country. So as soon as we sort out those three reasons, India is on the way to becoming a new AI superpower, but it has a long way to go. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about the Google I.O. and the AI language that they announced at Google I.O. But this time we are talking about the murky ethics of it. So Google's announcement of this AI language which is far superior than any AI language we have ever seen was the centerpiece of their I.O. event while ignoring the fact that they themselves have been accused of censoring the critics of these AI languages. So Google on the I.O. conference announced that they have this ambitious plan of creating an AI language that is equitable to having a conversation with a human being. But Google a while back had fired two employees Margaret Michel and Nimnit Gebru because they had written a paper showing the risks of these kind of AI languages. 
so a lot of ai ethics researchers have made this clear that google are not responding to ethics and they are not working according to the ethics of artificial intelligence gebru herself tweeted that this is what is called ethics washing referring to the tech industry's tendency to trumpet ethical concerns while ignoring findings that hinder the company's ability to make profit nimnit gebru and margaret michel were fired over a research paper that suggested that these kind of ai languages can become abusive and start using racial slurs as well after all this sundar pichai outlined how google's ai models would always be designed with fairness accuracy safety and privacy in mind so google has not instilled any confidence in its consumer base or the ai ethics research community as people are still scratching their heads how their privacy safety and integrity will be secure by these kind of ai language models so the verge were able to get an official comment by google ai chief jeff dean dean noted that google had suffered a real reputation hit from the firings but that the company had to move past these events they are not shy of their criticism and their own products he also added as long as it is done with a lens towards facts and appropriate treatment of the broad set of work we are doing in this space but also to address some of these issues but still critics of the company are saying that we need to have a more open conversation than this moving on to the last story of our day our last story is about ai deep fakes that we have time and again covered on this channel but this time it is just the deep fake of the lips so this ai technology is made for films that are dubbed in an other language because an actor's facial movements may clash with his line this technology related deep fake is going to make movie viewing in different languages very easy so when you watch a dubbed movie in hindi like a james bond and you watch it in hindi and his lips are moving as if he is speaking in english and you cannot understand what he is saying and it makes it a bit discombobulating seeing the lips moving differently and the words coming out differently this ai technology was created by a uk based company called flawless which is co-founded by the director scott man who said he was tired of seeing his films dubbed poorly he said that the dubbed version of his films takes out the context of the entire scene and makes the scene unwatchable or demerits the artistic value of the scene what this technology basically does is it takes the 3d imprint of the actor's face and it also takes the 3d imprint of the voice artist's face and merge them together so that you can have the actor having realistic lip movements of a particular language this is similar to the deep fake technology but it is very simple because you have to deep fake only this part of an actor's face but you will have to create realistic lip movements which do not look computer generated this can make a lot of profits for studios who want to send their movies to different countries and make more profits than before because this enhances the viewing experience a lot more so the problem that they are going to face is a lot of actors are hesitant to have their acting performances altered in post production and people from this company have said that this has to be negotiated because this is something which is altering their persona and it has to be with the full consent of the actor itself so this technology is highly seeked by professionals in the film industry as they can easily deep fake a face of the actor on the face of the stunt double they can also use this technology to de-age the actor significantly to fit a particular role and now they can also alter the lip movements to remove the problem of additional shooting because if they have to change the dialogue they can just do it in post rather than shooting the entire scene again so they are comparing this technology with the cgi generated effects which were very hot in the 2000s now face swapping and deep fake technology is highly sought after by the hollywood studios so that's about it those were all the stories that i have for you today if you enjoyed this video click on that thumbs up that really helps us a lot i highly recommend you read all these stories in their entirety links for them will be in the description down below 
and while you are at it click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from analytics india magazine